I really don't want to have this conversation right now, but let's do it. This is my first video of this series that I want to start, Change With Me. I'm trying to love myself. I don't love who I am right now, so I'm gonna change so that I can love myself. Not very good right now. It's fine because life's ups and downs are what makes the ups good. The apartment is messy. There are a lot of stuff that I need to do that I'm not doing. This is gonna be a mental journey as well as a relationship with self exploration. Like I'm spaced out right now. I don't know what's happening. <sighs> okay, let me fake it. Cause I can. The crazy thing is that I can. Okay, I got this. Hi guys, welcome to this channel, this new video series that I'm doing. It's called Change With Me and I just wanna make my life better. And I know that um, sometimes I need to see other people improve themselves in order to be inspired to improve on my own. So I am going to show you guys like how it looks when I'm on this like journey of self-improvement. And I hope this inspire you guys to make changes in your life that uh, you want to. All the things that I do are personal to me and specific to me and I am not like in any way shape or form eligible to give advice to any other person this is just my journey so I am super excited to have you guys be watching me through this the plan for today is that I'm going to edit a video so that I feel like I'm doing something productive and then I'm gonna go meet my friend Taylor and we're gonna hang out and that's good because then I won't be alone whereas I could just be in bed like doing nothing but that's not good for me it's Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to everybody like everybody <sighs> life is so confusing and there's so much uncertainty and I feel so lonely and when my friends like they post like sad shit I'm like I love you cuz I do and I'm like trying to like make them feel my love and when I post like sad shit and my friends they text me like I love you I'm just like okay like I don't believe you I like don't know if this is hormonal or whatever and I want to get help I'm crying this is so uncomfortable and not like useful for anyone to see so I'm gonna stop and I look like a fool with this makeup and makeup doesn't make me any prettier or less fat it just distracts from the ugly but everything that I have I got from my parents so if I don't love myself do I even love my parents okay I'm gonna get help but I don't know how much it's gonna cost to like get diagnosed or if I have to like do therapy or like be medicated i don't know how much that's gonna cost and i don't even know how to like tell my mom i communicate with her sometimes like about how i feel but like it makes her uncomfortable and she just like changes the subject she's like oh just eat healthier like get more sleep like your sleep schedule is fucked that's why this is happening like you need to regulate it and i'm sure that's to some extent of it but I have been sleeping regularly for like the past two, I don't know, days. I don't know. Okay, I'm good now. Telling her stuff, like I don't even know how to like say it in Chinese or Burmese. Cause I, I'm not fluent in it. And I don't know if there are words to describe it because <sighs> mental health is like quite taboo. And I don't want to believe that there's something like not normal with me. Cause it feels like it's something that I can just will away, you know, like I am not sad. I like just want to will it away. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. And this has been a breakdown. This is my stomach. I hate it cause I <laughs> eat a lot. Uh, 
I don't want to post this on the internet. <laughs> but the only way I will improve and getting that thing done is if I'm not doing it for myself and if there's like another goal to it. So having there be a video fucking helps me, but I don't want to share this with strangers. <laughs> it's fine. I'm so fucking embarrassed. This is my stomach. This is fat muffin top. If I bend down, this is all the fat that could be gone. <sighs> and like my thighs, they're, they're big. Do you see like how much there is of me? That's a lot of fat. My arms are so big. <laughs> Not ideal. Because like I binge eat, I think it would help if I take photos of every single thing I ate and put them in this video. So that I'm more mindful. Oh, I'm at um, breakfast with Emma, and then we're eating a lot, and it's really good, and I'm really happy. Really bad angle, my friend. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Yesterday we went. I went to Taylor's, and then. I ate some chocolate and it was good. It's leftover Easter chocolate. Yum. I'm about to get on the train at Chinatown. <laughs> I have an idea. You guys get on the floor, you kick it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. oh, no. The loot sprinkle. Yeah, let's kick out one and down. Let me tug it. Let me tug it. Let her tug it. Let me tug it. No, no, just wiggle it. Yeah, I'm just gonna wiggle it. <laughs> you can't. I can't even take it. I can feel. I can feel it. I can feel it. Like I can feel it. It's <laughs> out in two seconds. You can do it forward. Pull it down. <laughs> got it. Oh my gosh! You got it. <laughs> Congratulations. That's the, that is cool. I just realized it's mental health awareness month. So I guess today is day two of Change With Me. I haven't really done anything. Ate a lot, which is fine. I don't have food at home and I'm like trying my best. Hung out with Emma a lot and I got to see a kid pull his tooth out. It's awesome. <laughs> it was nice to hang out with Emma and like just nice to like do nice things for other people. And I'm gonna talk to my mom about getting help professionally mentally i'm not scared because i know she understands but i just don't know how to find the words for it and i know i'll have to have like a google translate page up and even then it like doesn't make sense i am proud of going out like getting ready it was a good day i hung out with emma at the airport and she's still at the airport <laughs> Everything is purple. It's great Gatorade, my purple thing. A purple shirt and purple pants. It is, I think, Tuesday. Today is gonna be a good day. I was just at the gym. I did like um, four sets of like cardio exercises. I did a quarter mile on like the elliptical thing and then I did 25 burpees. So I did that four times and then ended up being in a mile and 100 burpees. Then I did four things of like squats and leg lifts or leg raises. I don't know. I'm trying to like lengthen myself. And then I just like stretched a little bit. I feel like I'm an overachiever and it's really hard to like get started because I just want to like go so hard. I'm going slow and hopefully there are results because truthfully that's what I want and mentally I know it will help me because like endorphins and whatever. I'm going to the City College Advising Place to like register for summer classes, online history and then I'm getting a haircut with Taylor. I'm going to Mariano's right now because we have a picnic tomorrow. Oh, lastly, like I posted some stuff on Instagram because it's like mental health awareness. I guess because I don't share, like people are making such a big deal about it and it's making me uncomfortable because like 
this is normal for me. Like it's always in my head, and people are being nice to me about it, and I'm. Just, I feel so uncomfortable. Sorry if the audio is shit. When I'm mentally in a bad place and people are nice to me, it makes me uncomfortable. And I don't want to open that message. I don't want to read it. I don't want to respond to you. Like, I'm like happy hating myself. May 14 to 20 is mental health awareness week. The whole of May is mental health awareness month. Should I press the button? Hey guys, so it's Thursday, so that means there's Friday, Saturday, two more days of this video change with me. Um, I think this is my first time vlogging today, but today was pretty good. I went to the City Colleges of Chicago, the Harold Washington College, went shopping a little bit, kind of accidentally, because I started peeing my pants, so I had to get new underwear and new pants. I edited and uploaded the new products video. After this, I'm going to go to Taylor's house and help her dye her hair again. We got a haircut together and then she dyed my hair. It looks really nice and cute. Yesterday we had a picnic. It was so fun. The food was so good. I was so sleepy. So mentally, I'm doing pretty good. I'm not doing very well at like keeping track of what I eat and taking pictures, which like I'm not too mad about. I don't feel like I'm abusing myself yet. So I'm on this machine. I think it's called elliptical. I did a mile. Now I'm just gonna cool down a little bit and see, figure out this and see if I can do start it today. If not, I'll just do something else. So I'm done with gym. It's like almost eight, which is when the gym closes. So that's good. I like literally went in with only one hour to do anything. And instead of being like, ah, oh, it's too late, like I did it. And I'm like, so proud of myself. The sky is so blue and nice. I got McDonald's, which was not part of the plan, but it's fine. I just wanted to share something. There was like this guy that was following me, saying shit into my fucking ear. And I wanted to fucking punch him because he was making me feel really fucking unsafe and really fucking uncomfortable. No, I mean... It is 6.09 right now. I am kind of late. Like, today I didn't really do anything. And this apartment is a mess because... I'm like terrible. Um, wow, that's negative self-talk that is totally unnecessary. I'm supposed to be at Taylor's by seven and I know that if I don't work out today, I'm gonna feel shittier. Like I felt so sick today. Like my brain or my nose was hurting. Like it was the worst ever. And I'm just gonna go work out and I really need to find my keys. I didn't eat very healthy as well. I like ate so much. Most of them were carbs. I just feel sick. Here I am. I'm just gonna lift some weights and come back. I look so cute in this blue striped thing. I can't believe there's only one day left in this vlog. <laughs> I thought there would be more time for me to like make changes and shit. But today was not a very good day. I think the other day I didn't have a very good day as well. Not yesterday, because I know. I don't know. I don't know. Not reliable. I'm done. I did like 10 reps of four different like arm back exercises and I did it three sets. Like it didn't even take like 15 minutes. And then I stretch a little bit and I'm up. And that makes me feel so good. Not like so good, but like better. Like I'm still a little not feeling the best. I took a shower, I washed the sadness off. Um, yeah. I don't know if it worked. I'm still sad. I went to the play, saw Taylor, Sid, and Gabby. It was so fun. The play is so good. I look like an elephant, which is like fine because elephants are cool. But um, I'm about to eat another thing of ramen. I'm empty. <laughs> so I'm going to binge eat and I'm just going to like fall asleep. I guess I shouldn't binge eat, right? But my body wants it. <laughs> My head still hurts a little. I should probably take some ibuprofen. 
for Thailand now or something. But yeah, that's my plan for the night. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Hello, welcome to the last day of my first Change With Me vlog. I've been getting ready to go to the gym for three hours and I'm still here. And the only thing that got me out of bed, I, I like ate breakfast and stuff, which was like pasta, like not the best, is the fact that I would be walking and eating this to go to the gym. So I just finished one circuit. It's like seven minutes long, a circuit, and I have three more to go. It's tough, and I'm alone, and I do my best work when I'm trying to like motivate another person to work out with me, or if I'm in like a group setting, so I don't feel like I'm dragging other people down. And I just feel so out of shape, and I don't want to do anything. And I know, like, starting is the hardest part, but, like, I'm so, like, unmotivated. So I'm back from grocery shopping, and I'm going to shower and then go to Sephora and then meet Sam at the Art Institute. Should be fun. Hmm. Yeah, but I, like, got so much stuff that I have to take an Uber back. It's this. so gross. It's a Kiwano. No. No, right? I would never. Yeah. And this is a uh, Pequino, was it? Uh, this uh, oh, it was Pepino. Pequino, yeah. What's your... It was... Like, I don't hate it, but I don't I love it enough to keep... So I'm home from hanging out with Sam. It was super fun. Now I'm just gonna, like, put stuff... <laughs> I know, it's so messy. So I finished reading this book. It's called The Chaos of Longing by K.Y. Robinson. And I know, like, this video is so long, right? Add it to my list. And I know this is only a poetry book, but this is only the third book I've read this year. This poetry, and it's just, like, about sad and love. And all of these pages that I dog-eared are stuff that I'm like, ouch. Okay, so I made a chart, which is like what this thing told me to do. And today I did resistance and for warm up, I, oh, I also stretched to that. So I'm just going to see how long I can keep up with that. And what else? Um, oh, yeah. So after I did the whole workout, which is like four things of seven minute workouts of two circuits. So like you do each circuit twice for seven minutes. It was so tough, like, I wanted to give up. I was like, I'll just be really unfit and fat. So discouraging. <laughs> I had a really good today hanging out with Sam. We went and got food, and then we just like ate fruits. It was the best, and now I'm about to eat <laughs> my spaghetti ramen thing. And Parmesan crisps. Parmesan, Parmesan crisps. Bye.